Hi my dear students, welcome back to my class. Hope everyone are fine. So in this video, I am sharing the key answers for the Science State Level Preparatory Examination 2022. So firstly, I will be sharing the key answers of Chemistry followed by Biology and also Physics in the same video. So without further delaying, let's start knowing the answers for today's examination paper. So firstly, let us look at the MCQs given in the chemistry part. So the MCQ starts from the question number 14 in chemistry. The first question is the acid present in the lemon. So right answer is citric acid. And 15th question, zinc oxide combines with carbon to form zinc and carbon dioxide. So they have asked to identify the substance which undergoes reduction. Right answer is zinc oxide. 16th question, the elements sodium, magnesium, aluminium and silicon are placed in the same period in the modern periodic table having the atomic number 11, 12, 13 and 14 respectively. So among this which is having smallest atomic size they have asked. So the right answer is option D, silicon because as you all know as we move from left to right the atomic size decreases. So next let us look at the one mark questions now in chemistry part. 17th question is what is catenation? So right answer self-linking property of carbon to form bonds with the other atoms of carbon. 18th question was what are exothermic reactions? The right answer chemical reactions that involves the release of energy in the form of heat and light it is called as exothermic reaction. So the 19th question was aluminium oxide is called as an amphoteric oxide why? It is because aluminium oxide react with both acids and bases to form salt and water. Next the 20th question which is given is uses of bleaching powder and baking soda. For two marks they have asked you have to write uh, two two uses for bleaching powder and baking soda. So bleaching powder is used to bleach the cotton and linen and it is also used to make the drinking water free from germs. Baking soda is used to make the baking powder and it is also used as an ant acid. So if you write so much you will get two marks. Okay, and the next one more uh, optional question which is given here is how is tooth decay caused in humans? How can it be prevented? Generally, the tooth decay causes when the pH of mouth is below 5.5. So bacteria present in the mouth produces the acid by the degradation of sugar and food particles which is remaining in the mouth after eating. So then they have also asked how to prevent the tooth decay. So tooth decay can be prevented by using the toothpaste which is having the proper base in it and also how to frequently cleanse the mouth. So the next question is 21st question. Write any four physical properties of metals they have asked. So there are so many physical properties of metal. You can choose any four. Metals are malleable, metals are ductile, metals are lustrous, metals are sonorous, metals have high boiling point and high melting point. Any four points you can write. So here they have also have they also have given one optional question. Either you can write physical properties of metal or you can choose the properties of ionic compounds. See ionic compounds are generally solid and they have strong force of attraction between the positive and negative ions. Ionic compounds have high melting point and high boiling point. Ionic compounds are soluble in water but they are insoluble in petrol, diesel and kerosene. Ionic compounds conducts electricity in the molten state. So this is for two marks. So now let us look at the 22nd question. They have asked you to draw the arrangement of apparatus used for testing the conductivity of salt solution and label the graphite rod. So you have to draw this diagram and also have to label the, the graphite rod to get two marks. So now let us move for next to 23rd question. See they have given word equations. You have to write the chemical equations uh, including the balancing. So you have to write the balanced chemical equation here. See the first question which is given here is iron sulphate is heated to get iron oxide plus sulphur dioxide and sulphur trioxide. You have to write FeSO4. When it is heated you get Fe2O3 plus SO2 and SO3. The second question is sodium sulphide combines with barium chloride to form barium sulphate and sodium chloride. You have to write Na2SO4 plus BaCl2 plus which gives rise to barium sulphate that is BaSO4 plus 2NaCl. So this is all belongs to a very important topic I already told you which belongs to double decomposition reaction and the previous question is belong to 
the thermal decomposition reaction. Next, they have asked copper combines with oxygen, forms copper oxide, that is Cu plus O2 gives rise to CuO. If you don't want to attend this question, you can also attend the next question, that is hydrogen gas react with chlorine gas to form hydrogen chloride, that is H2 plus Cl2 gives rise to HCl. Potassium combines with water to form potassium hydroxide, that is K plus H2O gives rise to KOH. So, this is all about 23rd question. So, next we have to attend the 24th question. Draw a neat labeled diagram of the reaction of zinc granules with the dilute sulfuric acid. This is the expected question. So, you have to label here zinc granules and also the delivery tube. So, this is about 24th. Now, looking into 25th question. State Mendeleev's periodic law and write any two limitations of Mendeleev periodic table they have asked. So, the law says the properties of elements are the periodic functions of their atomic mass. So, the limitations are as follows. You can write any two. So, here I have mentioned four. There is no proper position for hydrogen. There is no place for isotope. If you write these two points also, you will get full marks. Looking into 26th question, they have asked you to write the structural and the molecular formula of ethene, methane, benzene and propanol. So, ethene is a C2H4. Methane is CH4, benzene is C6H6, propanol is C3H7OH. Students, I have already thought all these things to write in a very simplest way in carbon and its compounds one short lesson. So, this is all about the chemistry. Now, let us look at the biology part. When we look at the biology, see the first multiple choice question which was asked. The hormone responsible for good growth of fruits and seeds in the plant is... So, the right answer is option B, cytokinin. 28th question, the traits that cannot be inherited among the following is. So, the right answer is knowledge gained by reading the books cannot be inherited because it is the acquired trait. Moving to 29th question, mention the function of ATP produced during the cellular respiration. Most of you have thought that this concept is not there, but it is actually given in the life process lesson in the box. You can observe it is page in the page number 68. So, in more to know part, they have given this concept. ATP is actually called as energy currency of the cell. For most uh, of the cellular respiration, ATP is being used because it releases the energy for the cells to do or to perform the work. So, moving to 30th question, iodized salt contain iodine. Students, I think the same question I told you in yesterday's video, same question I told you. The give reasons they may ask. Okay, iodized salt contain iodine. Iodine helps to stimulate the thyroid gland so that what happens? It releases a thyroxine hor hormone which is responsible for the metabolism of the overall body. Moving to 31st question the four limbs of the birds and the four limbs of the humans are homologous organs. Why? Because they are similar in structure and their origin is similar but their function is different. So, now let us focus towards the two marks question in the biology part. First, they have asked to draw the diagram showing the longitudinal section of flower and label the style. So, this is the diagram which you have to draw and you have to label the style. Moving to 33rd question, they have asked from our environment that is mention the differences between the biodegradable and the non-biodegradable substances. See, biodegradable, they can be easily mixed up with the soil and they are eco-friendly and non-biodegradable, they cannot be mixed up with the soil and they are not eco-friendly. So, if you write so much, you will get two marks. Moving to three marks question now, the first question asked was the most expected question. In humans, the sex of the child is determined by the father. Same question I told tomorrow in examination, they may ask. In yesterday's video, I told. So, females have perfect pair of chromosomes that is XX. And males have the mismatched pair of chromosome that is XY. During reproduction, if male donate X, the resultant baby will be the girl. Instead, the male donate Y, then the resultant baby will be the boy. So, you have to write this. And finally, you have to write the sex of the child is determined by the father. Okay. So, next, if you don't want to attend this question, they have an option writing the checkerboard of mono hybrid. See, in your textbook, they have given tall pea plant and dwarf pea plant. But here they have asked the same concept based that is here they have asked red flower and also the white flower. So, as it is having the only one proper type of trait, when red flower crosses with the white flower, 
the dominant trait that is the red flower is being seen also you have to write the checkerboard for this for the f2 generation so this is how you have to write i already taught you how to write the uh, checkerboard for uh, mono hybrid cross please check out the videos if you have not yet watched it related to heredity and evolution so the f2 generation ratio is a 3 is to 1 3 red and 1 white flower so moving to 35th question they have asked how is the ozone layer formed what is the reason for the depletion of ozone layer what is the effect of ozone layer depletion see ozone layer is formed at the higher levels of atmosphere because it is a product of uv radiation so acting on the molecular oxygen the high in energy uv radiation it splits the molecular oxygen that is o2 into free atoms of oxygen that is o and o so now what happened when these atoms that is molecular oxygen when it is splitted what happened the splitted atoms of oxygen when it combines with the molecular oxygen we get the o3 that is the ozone and you also have to write how does the ozone get depleted ozone layer get depleted due to the increase in the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere okay and then they have also asked you to write the effect see ozone layer depletion causes the skin cancer and also the cataract that means the problem which is related to your eyes moving to 36th question they have asked about what is placenta mention its functions i told you about the placenta they may ask in the examination placenta is a disc embedded in the uterine wall it contains the villi on the embryo side of the tissue on the mother side or the blood spaces which is surrounded by the villi see this placenta it helps in exchanging the nutrition and also oxygen you can also write the gases from the mother to embryo it also receives the waste from the embryo and get transferred to the mother's blood for the excretion process if you don't want to attend this question students you can also attend this question see that is they have asked what is fertilization the fusion of male and female gamete uh, result in the formation of zygote this is called as the fertilization and after fertilization what are the steps that takes place in the flower they have asked see after fertilization this zygote will divide repeatedly to form an embryo so within the ovule this happens and this ovule will develop a thick coat and it gradually convert into seed and then the ovary grows rapidly and ripens to form fruit meanwhile the petals sepals stamens and style and stigma will shrivel and fall off this is what exactly you have to write for this particular question so moving to 37th question they have asked to write the human brain so and also to label the cerebrum and midbrain so here this is how you have to write the human brain diagram and label these two parts to get four marks and the last question from the biology is they have asked mention some of the events that occur during the photosynthesis very important frequently asked question so when we look at the events first first event is absorption of light energy by the chlorophyll then a conversion of light energy into the chemical energy and splitting up of water molecules takes place into hydrogen and oxygen and the reduction of carbon dioxide will form the carbohydrates these are the events next further in the same question they have asked how are the photosynthetic products translocated in the plants that means when photosynthesis take place what are the products form how does it travel and through what does it travel you have to write see photosynthetic products are translocated from the leaves to the various parts of the plant by the phloem okay and this process we will call it as translocation and the waste generated is the other question which is asked here the waste generated during the photosynthesis is oxygen see it is given in the excre excretion part in the life process uh, lesson the product that is oxygen is considered as one of the waste product during the photosynthesis so this is all about the biology so now let us focus toward the physics part first question the material used in the filament of an electric bulb so option c tungsten for second question in fleming's right hand rule the four finger indicates the direction of magnetic field third one the power of lens with 1 meter focal length is see we say that power of lens is a reciprocal of focal length here directly you can write the SI unit of power of lens that is diopter so here option a one diopter now going on to the one mark question which mirror is used as rear view mirror in the vehicles it is convex mirror fifth question 
Mention the nature of image formed when the magnification of image of an object formed by spherical mirror has negative value. See, if the magnification is negative, we consider it as, as a real and invert. Two mark questions. Sixth one. An electric refrigerator rated 500 watt operates 8 hours a day. What is the cost of energy to operate it for 30 days at rupees 5 per 1 kilowatt hour? See, this is related to commercial unit of electrical energy. Okay. So, now what we have to do is we have to multiply the watt with a number of hours into number of days. So, that is 500 watt into 8 hours into 30 days. Okay. Here, we will going to get 120,000 watt hour. Okay. That we have to convert into electrical energy that is kilowatt hour. That is 120 kilowatt hour. Okay. Now, they are asking to find the cost. See, for 1 kilowatt hour is 5, 5 rupees. So, for 120, it is 600 rupees. Seventh question, it is electric motor. Yes, it is compulsory electric motor or generator you must practice. So, this time, it is electric motor. Eighth one, loss of reflection of light. See, as I told you in previous video, that is important questions in physics. Either they may ask loss reflection or loss of refraction. So, here they gave loss of reflection. So, first law we say that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Second law incident ray normal to the mirror at the point of incidence and the reflected ray all lie in the same plane. Going for 3 marks. See, it is very simple. They gave one, one word answers that is mention the function of the following devices. First one electric fuse. So, electric fuse prevents the electric circuit and the appliances from the possible damage by stopping the flow of high electric current. That means it will resist or it will stop the flowing of high current. Second one, function of galvanometer. Galvanometer is nothing but it is an instrument that can detect the presence of electric current in the circuit. Electric generator. Yes, electric generator converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. In the same question, you have OR option that is list the properties of magnetic field lines. In that first one, you have to write some properties. Magnetic field lines emerge from North Pole and merge at South Pole. Second one, you can write it as relative strength is shown by degree of closeness of field lines. No two magnetic field lines intersect each other. So, for one mark, they gave what is the definition for what is solenoid? A coil of many circular turns of insulated copper wire wrapped closely in the shape of cylinder, we call it as a solenoid. Okay. So, next one is ray diagram. Yes, as we discussed in previous video, physics important question, I told you that in convex lens, they may have three options at F1 or between F1 and 2F1 or beyond 2F1. So, here it, they gave third case that is between F1 and 2F1. So, here the object will is between F1 and 2F1. Image is beyond 2F2. Nature is real, invert and enlarge. 11th question. What is biomass? What are the advantages of using biogas? See here the plant and animal products that the source of these fuels. We call it as a biomass. If you go for advantages of biogas, see here there is a difference between biomass and a biogas. Here the definition is for biomass, advantages is for biogas. So, you can write it as it is a renewable source, pollution free, economical, heating capacity is high, slurry left is used as a manure. Okay. Coming to 4 mark question, 4 mark questions are very easy, direct questions. That is question number 12, you have 2 questions, sub question. Number 1, state Ohm's law. Mention the factors on which resistance of a conductor de Ohm's law, the potential difference across the ends of given metallic wire in an electric circuit is directly proportional to the current flowing through it. So, if you come for factors, length of conductor, area of cross section, nature of material and temperature. Here option B, you have a problem that the potential difference between the terminals of electric heater is 60 volt. When it draws a current of 4 ampere from the source, what will be the heater draw if the potential difference is increased to 120 volt? See, it is related to Ohm's law. Here voltage is increased. Current has also increased. So, here what you have to do is, you have to consider as voltage as 60 volt, current as 4 ampere. You have to consider Ohm's law formula. That is R is equal to V by I. 
60 by 4, you will get the resistance as 15 ohm. Now you 15 ohm and the increased voltage that is 120 volt, you have to substitute I is equal to V by R that is 120 by 15, you will get it as 8 ampere. You can observe here, here voltage is directly proportional to current that is if voltage is doubled that means 60 to 120 current is also doubled that is 4 ampere to 8 ampere okay here in the same question we have or option that is joule's law state joule's law of heating so heat produced is directly proportional to the square of current directly proportional to the resistance directly proportional to the time and here also we have one simple problem that is an electric bulb is connected to 220 volt generator the current is 2 ampere find the power and the resistance it is very simple v is equal to 220 volt i is equal to 2 ampere so here you have to consider ohm's law formula r is equal to v by i 20, 220 by 2 it is 110 ohm if you come for power you have to relate with p is equal to vi that is voltage and current 220 into 2 you will get 440 watts and do, remember that you have to write SI units. Coming to 13th question that is the last question in physics part. Here we have problems. Both are problem questions. That is find the focal length of convex mirror that has a radius of curvature is 32 centimeter. We have a relationship between the focal length and the radius of curvature. That is radius of curvature is equal to 2 times of focal length. Focal length is half of radius of curvature, 32 by 2, we will get 16 centimeter. Okay, next coming to the problem, 3 marks problem, that is concave mirror. As I told you, it is a concave mirror. You have to consider U, V, F, all are negative. Here, given part, height of object is 4 centimeter. Object distance is 25, you have to consider it as negative. Focal length as 15, you have to consider it as negative. We have to find V, height of image and you have to write nature. As we have mirror, we have to consider mirror formula 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by V. As we have to find V, so we have to consider to the LHS 1 by V is equal to 1 by F minus 1 by U. We have to substitute along with the sign that is 1 by minus 15 minus 1 by minus 25. Here in between minus into minus it becomes plus 1 by minus 15 plus 1 by 25. You are going to take LCM for 15 and 25 it is 75. So, 15, 5 is a 75. So, along with sign it becomes minus 5 plus 3. So, it is 1 by V is equal to minus 2 by 75. So, V is equal to 75 by 2. You will get minus 37.5 centimeter. That means here if we compare to object distance, image distance is more. The negative signs, sign indicates that it is a inverted image. So, if you find using magnification, that is you know that height of image divided by height of object is equal to minus V by U. If you find height of image, you are going to get minus 6 centimeter. That height of object is 4 centimeter, height of image is 6 centimeter. That means we can say that it is enlarged. So, finally what we can write the nature is image is real, invert and enlarged. So, this is about physics part.